Hey everyone, this is Minion from Minion's Army, and today's video is inspired by a hit that I did in a war in which, um, which I did not triple. However, um, I had a clan mate that helped talk me through uh, to make some adjustments to get a triple on a follow-up attack. And um, that was my base, and this is my clan, and the clan mate that was helping me out was Exit, and... Um, just want to take a look at X space here and he is a town hall 10 that is set to be a town hall 11 very shortly so um, congratulations exit so the first hit is a hit that I did and it was a drag bat hit and um, then I follow up again with a drag bat a little bit more of a modified army there for the second hit then the third hit is exit and he is doing a drag bat then we have Stranger Danger, also with a Drag Bat, and the final attack is a Town Hall 10, Hog Attack. So let's get into this, and the first hit's me. So I was doing a Drag Bat here, and my idea was to go ahead and use the Dragon to funnel at 6, and a Baby Dragon to funnel the 3 o'clock, and to use the Heroes to come in and try and get the Queen to take that AD out. Um, what ended up happening, I'll show you here, because I, I really did flub this up, and I wouldn't do this to anybody, um, just because this is a hit that I did, am I picking on, on myself here? Um, if somebody else did something like this, I wouldn't put it on YouTube, um, or at least I would ask for permission. Anyways, the queen comes up, she takes the AD, she takes care of the enemy queen, here come my dragons, and um, and this is where I mess up and, and get all nervous. I accidentally released um, Clan Castle Loons instead of the Slammer. My goal was to have the Slammer come in and open up that compartment and um, to do some damage, take out the Sweeper, and help the King along the way. Um, obviously, I was in panic mode, but I went ahead with my plan. I went with the, the Bat Bomb there at 9 o'clock. It's taking care of several defenses. And notice that uh, a lot of my Bats got taken out by a Red Bomb. So. At this point, I know that it's a failed attack, um, yet I was hitting it fresh, so I held out hope and I thought maybe I could get some intel for whoever's going to hit it next. So, anyways, I'm into double time mode, attack, and you can notice I had a uh, poison that I didn't use. So I come back, I modify the army, I start with the king at 6 o'clock, I dropped the poison, and I also um, dropped one of the bat spells and I picked up a rage. I have the queen coming in with a little bit of tanking from some, some giants. In the previous hit, and if you rewind, you notice that some of the dragons got tied up on those big storages. So the king is setting the funnel in the south. I'm going to lead off with some loons. Now my dragons. And the slammer, instead of setting off loons without a slammer, Slammer's coming in from the other side of the base there at 2.30. So it's going to open up that compartment and uh, allow the queen to do some damage there. Bat bomb's going off at 9 o'clock. I'm using le less bats, remember, because I knew that um, several of my bats got taken out by those, by those, um, that red bomb, that red air bomb. So thankfully, um, my bats work in a way to come around and um, take care of the expo and took care of several key defenses there in the in the quadrant there by nine o'clock so my queen is still up she's in cleanup mode and she's going to come back and get this inferno which is super helpful and clutch dragons i still have loads of dragons and they're in good health and pretty much all of the air defenses are down there's one archer tower, but I mean, given the number of dragons I have up, that's not going to be a problem. So, thank you so much, Exit, for helping me get this triplet. And um, here we go. We're going to watch one that Exit does, and he is doing something similar. He's got his queen started off. He's using the giant there to tank. And I did a poor job zooming here. We've got. Uh, some funneling troops happening at 12 o'clock, it's off the screen, but it is a king and some wizards and a dragon. And here come his dragons, and he's going to work them across the base. In that direction has the sweeper coming, or the slammer coming in, 
hopefully going to take out that inferno raged up dragons the enemy clan castle had a electro dragon he has the rage the freeze and the bat bomb going off right on top of that wizard tower and um, and he is going to use the bats to clear off the back end of this base and take care of those ADs. So, um, excellent job, Exit. And uh, just now that E-Drag went down, but he's pretty well gutted the base. And there's really nothing left that can, um, can take care of his troops. So I'm going to go off into double time. The next hit is by Stranger Danger, and it is an, another slammer drag bat hit and um, we'll take a look here at at his deployment and stranger danger it has uh, two rages and seven bat spells he comes in from the south and he is coming in with his heroes together so he has his king tanking and his queen is going to step up and she is going to nab that ad which is which is very helpful in this type of attack and he's going to pick off a few or try to pick off a few other exterior buildings to help with the funneling. And um, looks like he's he didn't have anything that was um, out of range of the defenses. So he'll use the dragons to help with the funneling. So he's using two dragons over at three o'clock to help with this funneling. He has the the bulk of his dragons coming in at about four o'clock. And he's working across the base, has the slammer and the loons and the dragons all together. Uh, great clumping of troops. And then he puts down his bat bomb in between two ADs um, with the, um, the freeze. Unfortunately, that multi-inferno is too close and he doesn't get a whole lot of value for the bat bomb. But um, in this case, with that multi-inferno, um, the dragons are, are able to overpower, so he is continuing on, and this one's going to be a little closer than the others, um, yet um, you can see how that multi-inferno does very little damage to all of those dragons. So now he has just a few other defenses up, and uh, looks like he's got the Tesla is being stubborn, didn't want to go down to the loon. So the dragons will move in, take care of that Tesla. And he has another dragon that's going to take care of the Archer Tower. And uh, this base is into cleanup mode. So nice hit, Stranger Danger. The final hit that you're going to see is Knighton. And Knighton is going to do a hog attack. I saved the hog attack for last um, just so that you could see uh, four different drag bat hits. Uh, mine, the first one that didn't work so well. And then the... Um, the second one, which fixed my mistakes, and then another one by Exit, and then this one by Stranger Danger. So um, we're going to go into Knighton's hit here, and he is going to be hitting with Hogs. He ha is using a Wall Wrecker, and inside the Wall Wrecker are Bowlers. So he starts off in the south with um, some funneling troops. He knows that it's, uh, it's going to be a pretty heavy funnel because of all those uh, storages and the Teslas there. Um, the the area that was closer to where the flags are at let's say eight o'clock or so was a pretty easy funnel but then in the south was was much harder with those giant storages so he's pushing in with the wall wrecker and his royals and he has poisoned the enemy clan castle troops taking care of the queen obviously it's it's a hog attack so we want to make sure we take care of the queen and take care of the clan castle troops. He was using shattered golems and uh, you can see how that one golem is definitely occupying that that expo and he's got 50% of the base down before he's even started his hogs. So he is coming in, he's just trickling those hogs in. Um, when the golem popped uh, the expo then went ahead and targeted the hogs. My king is going to be chasing the hogs down. Uh, but that's okay, the hogs are going to outrun him. And uh, they go into the compartment there with the Inferno. He's going to heal them up. And he only has one defense left. So you can see he actually didn't heal them up. Um, 
he really didn't need to. He had such a really good funnel and um, kill squad that he was able to swag two of his heal spells. So, but like a good fella, he just kept them in his pocket. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed these hits and um, take care and thank you for watching. Goodbye.